most likely heard by now how daily physical activity can boost brain function. Well, now a new study by UCSD has found what physical activity can do for people ages 50 to 74. And it is not just vigorous exercise, it can be everyday activity. Joining us now to talk about what this could mean in the long term is UCSD Health Associate Professor of Psychiatry, Dr. Ray Ann Moore. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me this morning. So what kind of activity are we talking about here in that group and how long did the improvements last? So yeah, so we enrolled a sample of middle-aged and older adults who were aged 50 to 74 and we had them wear research grade fitness trackers that tracked their um, just movement throughout the day. We didn't track their exercise or their minutes of exercise during the day, just really their movement. And we also had them do on their smartphone same day test of their thinking skills um, or cognitive abilities. Um, we had them do this for two weeks. And um, what was unique about our study is this was a purely observational study in that we didn't ask these participants to increase their physical activity for these two weeks or change any of their other behaviors, but really just go about their daily life as they always do. Um, and what we found is that on day when people on days when people had greater physical activity, they had more effective performance on a task of executive function. And on days when they had less physical activity, their cognitive performance on this task was worse. Uh, Dr. Moore, what could this mean for people with brain-related conditions like Alzheimer's? So there's a myriad of research already from lab-based studies really demonstrating that acute increases in physical activity are related to improvements in our brain health. Um, or it's kind of the old adage goes, right? What's good for the heart is good for the brain. Um, but what was unique about this study is that it extends that previous work um, by providing novel evidence that we can fully remotely capture this data as did, people are going about their everyday lives. Did the study take into account that sometimes people who are more physically active may also be more socially or cognitively active as well during the course of their day and could that have had any impact on their brain function? That's a great question. So we also looked at the relationships between increases in these same day cognitive test performance and other factors going on in their daily lives. Um, and we found that people who engaged in more cognitively stimulating activities during the day, so things like working or reading a book or engaging in social interactions, they also were getting this same day boost in cognitive abilities as well. And doctor, how about those who may be dealing with physical limitations? Yeah, so I think um, one thing that was really encouraging to me from this study is that we were really just measuring movement throughout the day or for people who have Apple watches, kind of that red ring um, and not the number of exercise minutes or number of steps. So. For people who you know maybe have physical limitations especially older adults that may limit their abilities to participate in moderate to vigorous physical activity um, just really focusing on increasing movement throughout the day may have a positive impact on their same day brain health so what is the takeaway message would you say for folks who are watching in terms of what they should be doing every day yeah so we don't know yet if there's a cumulative long-term effect on these small daily fluctuations in cognition um, that's something we're going to be studying next. But as a take home message, I would just encourage people to get out there and move, move as much as you can, even if it's seated yoga or walking to your mailbox and then the next day walking down the street and trying to increase that, but just get movement throughout the day. Um, and hopefully you'll see a um, immediate benefit on your brain health. We're trying to move right now, even as we sit here. UCSD <laughs> Health Associate Professor of Psychiatry, Dr. Ray Ann Moore, Dr. Moore, thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. Have a great day.